Let's get to our next guest. David Costa is Dean at Robert Kennedy College uh, and joins us uh, very kindly today to run through some of the uh, issues that we're seeing in the markets at the moment. Um, why don't we start by just talking kind of broadly about what's going on. We've seen a uh, Great volatility, lots of uh, lots of sell-offs. So, despite the first couple of days of this week, uh, lots of uh, sell-offs happening. Where does that leave us in terms of investment? Does that mean that we should stay away from investment from equities because of the volatility, or does it mean that there are actually uh, more opportunities around right now? A very good morning to you, Rebecca. So, what happens? Uh, we can see a lot of volatility, and we can see another big player in this market, which is fear. And when there is fear, there are always good opportunities. It's true, U.S. is in a recession, but we have to see how much is really a recession, how much is fear on the market. I don't see the same level of recession throughout the world. There is a lot of differences there between countries, and you cannot really say U.S. is in a recession, everyone else is going to be in a recession. So I do see value. I see value in different sectors, in different markets, but I do see very few value investors at the moment. So, David, where do you see value, uh, geographically to start with? What, you mentioned some countries not so badly affected by a recession as others. Where, where do we look? Well, for instance, if we look in Switzerland here, I don't see uh, such a strong recession as uh, is, is pictured on, uh, in, uh, in the United States. Here, the real estate market is pretty healthy, and people do not have a lot of credits, do not have a lot of debts. And so I see the market being very healthy. I also see some value in Asia. I could see value even in the United States, but only on those companies that have international operation which can support their growth. There will be growth this year, there will be growth next year, but not double digit. There will be single digits in many countries. Some of the countries will be stagnating, like the United States. But if you have international operation, if you're active throughout the world, you can have, uh, if you're investing now and your time horizon is three, four, five years from now, you can have good value. David, it's Mora here in Asia. What do you make of uh, the bailout that we saw from the Swiss authorities of both UBS and Credit Suisse? Does that do much to restore the trust in uh, these Swiss banks that's so crucial to their economy and financial system? Well, if you, UBS doesn't want you to call it bailout, but essentially, yes, uh, in terms of the government, it is a sign of big trust in the, in the biggest bank, but Credit Suisse received uh, yesterday, uh, okay, again, a big invest a investment, uh, which includes the Qatar Investment Authority. So, um, it, the Qatar investment is a sign of the international trust in the Swiss banking industry, because let's not forget, whenever this will be over, two, three years, four years, one year, maybe less, who is going to manage your money? And Swiss banks have a hedge on these. And uh, at the end of the crisis, Swiss banks will be among the most competitive players in terms of wealth management. So yes, I see trust mm -hmm. from the Swiss government, but also from external investors like the Qatar Investment Authority. All right, David, thank you so much for joining us today. We have to end it there. David Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College.